Hey, what's happening guys? If you remember a week or so ago, put together this version of the Atari uh, Punk console, which is a very basic uh, synthesizer, kind of sounds like this. Well, there seemed to be a lot of interest. Uh, guys who had never heard of it and stuff thought it was kind of an interesting thing. So I thought, why not make uh, a PCV version? And you guys can either order your own or download the Gerbers and have it made, whatever you want. So that's what we're gonna do today. So here's the schematic I drew up. And it's your basic uh, Atari Punks uh, console, which is the uh, two five 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 timers here, or you can use one five five six timer, I just don't have any. And then I've simply added another one with the output going to the control voltage pins of both of the originals. And like we found out in the first one, we do need to add some decoupling capacitors. Otherwise, they all want to uh, oscillate at the same time, which is not good. Not when you're trying to create a uh, synthesizer sound. So we take that and we make it into a breadboard or to a PCB board. It's, it's a really easy little board to make. I drew up some custom uh, logos. Now, I didn't know what to put here for the pots. I mean, how do you really label them? They just kind of make different sounds. So we have a monkey, a squirrel, and a rabbit. I don't know. Maybe that's stupid, but I, I just ser seriously couldn't think of anything else. Not all that creative more scientific right and then we have our 3d view that's big open area here because the pots are gonna live right here in this area and there you go and of course this video is sponsored by PCB way check them out for all your PCB needs you get uh, five boards for five dollars plus shipping in just a few days can't beat it super easy to order from all right, so I will order these boards, and I'll see you in the blink of an eye. For me, it'll probably be about a week. Well, they took a bit longer than I expected. I don't know why, but they had some sort of shipping delays. I actually had to contact PCB Way and say, hey, where are my boards? Because, I, I, you know, you can watch their website and see where you're at in the, in the production uh, status. They said they were done waiting shipment. So. I don't know. But after I called, they showed up in just a couple of days. Yeah, I ordered white and black. So here they are. They did a really nice job on the silk screening. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. Very nice. So I'm going to put one of these together and well, we'll see what happens. Alright, so all the soldering is done. You can see how I put those together with the bent pins and then I use the double sided tape to hold them down. That's, that's pretty solid. Let me get that out of there. And we can put in our 555 timers. 
We use our nice pin straightener here from Larry. Those all in real nice. That worked pretty doggone good. Might have went uh, a little overboard on that one. Now you can run this on a 9 volt battery, you know, no problem. But that might be a, a little loud. I like to run it on 5 volts. But you know, you want to run it on 9, you can. Good. One more. And good, all the pins are in. So now for these timing capacitors down here, I put in those little header blocks so that you can change them. And that way you can adjust your timing, which will of course adjust your frequency. These are just the decoupling caps up here. So the first one and the last one use 10 nanofarad caps. The, last, the middle one uses a hundred. I'm gonna have to look and see if I have any of these in a hundred. Not, we might have to use a different type of capacitor. Hold on a second. Yep, we are good. What? Oh, there we are. Hundred nanofarad. Thought I had some. Just had to be sure. That should be the last step in our construction here. Then we can hook up the power and the speaker and we'll be good to go. Well, that's enough of the horrible noises. You can see that she works. And I will put a link to where you can uh, download the Gerbers down below. And remember, you can change those capacitors to make it fit uh, whatever frequency range that you're looking for. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Big thanks to you guys for watching this video. That's it. I'm out. Peace.